Hi, Sheetal. How are you doing today? Great. Thank you. So I know you come from this varied background. Uh, I'd love to hear a little bit more about uh, where you are in your life. You know, how do you reach to this stage? Talk a little bit about your background. I'm a hospitality and restaurant industry specialist. Always have been in the hospitality and restaurant uh, working and business. Uh, been a consultant um, in India, worked in London. Um, I came to US um, and um, life just uh, brought me to a stage where I was a single mom yeah. and I wanted to give more time to my son. So I just started uh, being a consultant, got my own company, mm -hmm. started doing uh, events, um, branding and marketing, uh, got involved as a media uh, specialist. So I was heading um, a newspaper brand, Indian yeah. Express here in the West Coast as the bureau in charge. Mm -hmm. um, got into um, having my own company. So I decided to explore my inner strength, which was branding and marketing. And I started doing it for my own company, Sheetal Ori Inc., as my name was very much respected. Yeah. I decided to launch the company on my name and my brand. Then I started the Silicon Valley Awards, Making a Difference, SVA, uh, which was bringing people out who have made a difference in some form or way in the community, whether as an entrepreneur or an author, nonprofits, yeah. um, technology. So that led me to even keep on going with my radio show, which was again branded called Making a Difference with Sheetal Ori. It's been uh, eight years that I've been doing that radio show. Currently, it's on uh, Bali 92.3 FM. Uh -huh. And I guess I just kept on going. You know, the journey yeah. never stopped. I kept yeah. on trying to make a difference in my own way. I've yeah. been working for the last seven years uh, with one of the largest franchisees in the country for Jack in the Box and um, Denny's. Yeah. I work as a director. Yeah the last seven years so my journey as a restaurant and a hotelier never ever stopped and I continue to still have my own business keep on making a difference in my own way so that yeah is really really good right I mean things are related and yet not related right you learn correct, from correct. one experience and taking it to a different level and that's what life is all about right right, right. <laughs> and I recently heard that you've become a published author Yes. Let's hear a little bit about that, you know, talk about your book and what get, got you to writing this, you know, what kind of support did you get from the community and, you know, I'd love to hear about your book. I saw a little bit of promo, but let, let's hear from you. Thank you so much. Well, um, what led me to re write this book was um, my own journey. While going through a custody battle on my own, I just started sitting in those courtrooms, going through the, the whole process where you're waiting for your turn to be called. You're seeing so many other parents go through the same issues, same old problems of custody issues or custody battles. I used to feel very suffocated, understanding that if those judges or those attorneys or those mediators, are they even understanding what's going on with this family? Or is it that, you know, something they have to do and follow protocols of what the court system has given them, which is the guidelines. Yeah. The guidelines always said the best interests of the child. But in my case, I never saw that really happening. Yeah. I always thought that it was more of a, a, a situation where there was an immigration issue or if there was a situation of who is going to be having an attorney on their side who's more aggressive. Yeah. So those kind of things just made me feel that maybe one day I'm going to write about it. And so you kept notes? I <laughs> Notes are all in my head. You okay. ask me a date, you ask me a time and I will tell you. Oh, okay. I think you have a good memory. Yeah. So that kind of led me to write about uh, this Indian mother who's an immigrant and she doesn't have a status and nobody's asking her. She's the mom. 
She's yeah. the one who is giving birth to the child, but the court is ready and willing to listen to a U.S. citizen just because the child's a U.S. citizen as well, but the child has been born out of this mother. Yeah. And she has to go through a lot of hassle, similar to something what I've been through, but this, it's a story. Yeah. It's not about me. It's a story. And I'm just trying to give some kind of messages out to parents who are fighting custody battles or immigrant parents or people who don't have status or mothers who are left in India or other countries where they can't get back to their children. Yeah. You have to understand the logistics of the immigrations. You have to understand the logistics of what's going on in the psyche of that child. Right. The custodial battle book of mine is talking about the custodial battle between parents, between the court system, and also a battle of a child's mind. That's what the book is all about. I would love to read this perspective. That is Thank you. really amazing. I mean, you're sharing a personal journey and yet helping others. So that's truly making a difference with Sheetal Lori, right? <laughs> the show that I, I intend to keep on making a difference because I believe it's it's very important that we all do it, especially in this day and age. We all need to make a difference to help the community, to help the nation and just to move forward. And yes, I've always had the community support, uh, my well-wishers and friends, and I'm still counting on that support always. That is fantastic. I know we didn't talk about it, but what is a f one or a few things that you are really proud of in your life? By being me. I never ever faltered in my values and the beliefs I've always had. So yeah. just being me, I'm proud of that. That is so true, right? Just being true and honest to yourself. Correct. What else do we want? <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Thank you, Sheetal, for your time. Thank you so much.